So remember when I said I didn't want to get into the habit of buying my cards? I take that back. <laughs> What's up good people? I had an amazing experience at the Hobby Hangout over the weekend, which was basically a trading card show in Sydney. And as you guys just saw, I bought a ton of stuff. My poor wallet is basically in a coma. I don't know if he's ever going to come out of it. Some of them were from people that I just met at the convention. They weren't from vendors. So I scored some really sweet deals. So because there is a lot, I will be trying to make these really quick. So let's just dive in. Okay, first up, I will show the only non-card purchases that I made. This deal had been in works for a while by Muhammad from Peekaboo and Game Corner. I'll put his links in the description below again. Really hooked it up for me and I'm so grateful that these arrived in time. So first up, we have a beautiful OG Dragon Ball Bulma Pop Funko figure actually signed by the original voice actress for Bulma and it's also certified by JSA as well so really really happy with this and of course you guys know I just couldn't stop at one Bulma no way so my next purchase which matches with the Bulma is a Margin Vegeta signed by none other than the legend Chris Sabat. I was so happy with this purchase. I really, really admire his work as a voice actor. He's such a legend in that industry. So to have something actually signed by him was just too good to pass up. So again, Muhammad, you came through again. So thank you so, so much. And I'm just so grateful that these arrived in time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't buy too many Pokemon cards, so I'll just quickly go through them. So we've got a beautiful, I think it's called a Ghost Ninetales. Ho-Oh, Sylveon, so, so cute, love Sylveon. A Crystal Gyarados, Lugia, you guys know, Lugia is my favorite. <laughs> Suicune. And, oh, that's it. Okay, so they're the only Pokemon cards that I got from the day. I have some of these old card ass cards as well, which thankfully were just given to me for free. The guy didn't want them. So that was really, really nice of him. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I just really like these. I have no idea if they're actually worth anything. I love this one. This one was probably my favorite. So yeah, but I just, I love anything that's just artistic and has a really nice design. So yeah, I couldn't pass these up. And I don't know if you can see, so see how the gold stamp is actually that original like Dragon Ball Shenron, the one that kind of looks a bit more cartoony and sweet. So I really liked that detail as well. Okay, so I bought a ton of the Japanese Super Dragon Ball Hero cards. And honestly, that was just a happy accident because I was at a vendor, this guy came over, he noticed the signed Vegeta Pop Funko figure that I had. We started talking and he said he had a binder full of Japanese TCG. So he said if I would be interested to just meet him in the trading zone. So I did that and I ended up buying the whole binder. <laughs> so I got a really sweet deal for that. And he said he actually bought them when he was in Japan in 2019. So I was really, really happy with that score. Let's just fly right through these. Are... Oh, I was so happy with this one. This is absolutely stunning. And I also got a matching Vegeta one too. So, so beautiful. So sorry guys for going through these so quickly, but like I said, for the sake of time and the length of this video, I kind of do have to go through them quickly because like I said, I bought a ton. So if you want me to send close up photos of any of these, if you wanted to have a proper look, just hit me up on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to send that through to you. So while we're going through this, oh, this, this one was really beautiful as well. I'm so happy with this one. Oh, my boy, you guys know, you guys know, he's my favorite. 
So yeah, these are really, really sick. Really happy with all of these. And yeah, big shout out to Kevin if you're watching this. Um, thank you so much again for such a sweet deal and just being like a really cool dude to talk to. Um, really, really nice meeting you, man. That one's sick as well. Hello. Okay, so that's that pile. All right, next up we have, I forget this thing's name. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. Cabba. I forget what this thing is, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, the foiling in these is just so much more epic than the English version, in my opinion. So I definitely will be interested in opening more booster boxes or packs or whatever of the uh, Japanese Super Dragon Ball Hero cards. So if anyone can recommend a really epic set for me to open, and maybe even a link for where I can buy it, please, please let me know because I would be very interested in doing an unboxing video for that. Okay, last pile of the Japanese. I think I saved the best for last. So Android 17, Piccolo, hit. This one was pretty cool too, I really love that. Kid Goku. Adult Goku. Gohan. Cooler. Goku with the ape in the background. Frieza. I really loved this one too. I don't know if you can see it. Their eyes are all red because it's when Baby takes over them all and they go all evil. So I thought that was actually really, really epic. Oh yeah, I saved some of the best for last. This one, so much gold, absolutely stunning. Really, really love this. Golden Freezer. I think the next few might be SCRs. I really need to learn more about these cards and how to even tell, like with the codes at the top as well. Like I, I'm so new to this that I actually have no idea. I just whatever catches my eye because of the epic artwork I'm just drawn to it and I just get it so I yeah really don't know um, how to tell which ones are rare or not I really really love this Vegeta I'm so happy with this one I actually would even get a second one if I could find it Garlic Jr being all buff and stuff <laughs> SS4 Goku so much epic foiling in this, oh my gosh. Beerus, the homie, my spirit animal. <laughs> so cool, love this card as well. Loved this one too, oh my gosh, just blue foiling as well. Like when it's a different color foiling, it just can hit different, hey. Like, oh, just the artwork is just next level. And this one, very, very happy with this. It's a SS4 Broly with some really epic red foiling. And we have Jiren. Jiren's Revolution. I know that you're going to really love this card. So yeah, I thought of you straight away when I saw this. All right, so that's all for the Japanese cards. I told you there was a lot. <laughs> I do have a small pile of English cards as well, but I actually didn't get these at any vendors. I got these after the event from a guy who I met at the Hobby Hangout. His name is Tim. So Tim, if you're watching, thank you so much. You really hooked me up with some really sweet cards. So let's get into those. Okay, so first we just have some two SPR Trunks cards. I did get these at the Hobby Hangout event. And the rest of these I pretty much got from Tim directly. So I really love this launch card. I actually thought it would pair really nicely with this Bunny Bulma because it's a similar background. So yeah, thought it was pretty sweet. Okay, so that's launch. SS4 Goku, SCR. Piccolo. 
SPR, Goku and Beerus, SPR again. Yeah, so some of these cards were actually like championship cards, so they've got the stamp here as well. Oh yeah, this, this is a very, very nice set. There's a Goku one and a Vegeta one that you'll see in a sec. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, like look at that together. We got the Gogeta SCR, I'm pretty sure this is from Critical Blow. Another Goku. Vegeta, my boy. Vegeta again. Vegeta again. <laughs> this one unfortunately did have a massive print line in it that I didn't notice, but that's okay. It's still an epic card. Was pretty happy with this one. Apparently it's from one of the very earlier sets when SPRs were pretty much the equivalent of SCRs in terms of rarity. So pretty happy with this score. Another championship card, Vegeta. And oh yeah, I had to get the other Gohan rare cards because I just wanted to complete my set. So really happy I was able to get these. And last but not least, a really epic SP SPR Broly, my mistake. So yeah, they're all the English cards that are ungraded. And Tim was so kind and generous that he sold me this awesome premium pack box set for perfect combination for a really, really decent price. So I will be opening this in another video if you want to check that out. And finally, let's move on to some juicy slabs. Okay, first we have this epic Margin Vegeta PSA Gem Mint 10. Unfortunately, when I got home, I realized that I already have this card, but I don't have it graded, so I'm still very happy with this. We have another Vegeta here, Gem Mint 10. This is a pre-release though, so you can see the stamp. It doesn't have the, the white, uh, with the Japanese text on the back, but it has a pre-release stamp. So I thought this was an awesome score as well. Another another Vegeta, Gem Mint 10, PSA, a World Martial Arts Tournament, Sun Goku and Oob SCR, also a PSA Gem Mint 10. We have another championship card. This is SS2, Sun Gohan. I showed you the Goku and the Vegeta in the raw pile as well. So as you can see here, they all look really, really sick as a set together. Next up, we have a really beautiful SPR Goku from Colossal Warfare. The SCR Ultra Instinct Goku, the one right before the God Rare. Also in a Beckett, but a gold label pristine 10. And this one I was so happy about. I still think I might buy some boxes to try and pull it myself but I'm not going to go too crazy since I already have it and it's one of my holy grails so I snagged a gold label Sun Gohan Beyond the Ultimate SCR from Fighters Ambition and I am so happy with this. I don't think the camera does the texture justice but it is absolutely gorgeous in person. I am so so happy with this. Post editing Leah here. <laughs> I forgot to show that I also happened to snag this absolutely amazing first edition low population Broly SCR from Destroyer Kings as well from Tim. So once again Tim if you're watching this Thank you so, so much. I am so happy with the score. And I actually scored some black labels. So we have the SCR Trunks from Perfect Combination. Really stunning card, absolutely beautiful. This one actually isn't Dragon Ball related, but it's also a pretty epic find, especially because it is a black label. So last but not least, we have Aaron Jaeger, the Weiss Schwartz Hot Pressed Signature Card from 2015. So Fadi, if you're watching this, thank you so much for this beautiful slab and the other slabs that I bought from you. I really hope to talk to you again or see you at another event. I really, really enjoyed the event. 
not just the vendors, but just connecting with a whole bunch of new people and networking and just talking about different cards and certs. Like it was really, really awesome. And I can't wait to go to more events like that. So yeah, it was just really fun. And I am looking forward to the next one. So guys, that is everything that I have to show in this video. It was a lot, I know. This will be a longer video, I know it, but I hope you've stuck around for this long. And if you want to see what else I'll unbox next, please make sure that you're following me on Instagram and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.